Hmm. I don't know they cut off. So, um, yeah, spend about an hour with Scott. Great guy. Um, love to see him do a video. I don't know who I'm going to tag. I like, maybe I should get my tags out of the way now. Um, people who used to do videos, let's say, uh, hmm. For a second pass, uh, Peter, Peter Sharkalis, Peter Sharkalis. I know you're a busy man. You're doing work in magic with Ariana and Evans. Miss you, bro. Miss. It was good, be great to see you and Evelyn and Tilly again someday. I was lucky enough to meet the girls in Beverly Hills. Peter. Um. Man, who else? Nick. I never, I never spoke to Nick. Nick Shaves directly, but he was kind of my first, my first follow on YouTube, and him and. Chris Bailey were my first ones I would really watch a lot. So let's do Nick, Peter. And um, Chris Cullen. I mean, wanted to make a video and, and talk about and, and shout out Chris Cullen because one of the good things about this hobby is that now I'm going to go down, which will be my against uh, grain and combination with the grain as well because of the growth. So um, one of the good things about the hobby is you, you can meet people and develop a kind of a, I don't know, friendship, relationship. I got my show here. Without ever having physically met them. And I kind of feel that way about Chris Cullen. There have been times where I would be messaging with Chris. Now he's on the East Coast. I'm in San Diego. So there's a three hour time difference. Where I would be private messaging with Chris at what would be, you know, one, two in the morning on his, his time. And inevitably, the, the conversation would turn to bourbon. He introduced me to Angel's Envy Bourbon, which I really like. So I'd love to see. I think, I know Chris does a lot of live shaves. I don't know if he'll do a, a video. But let's do Chris Cullen, Nick Shaves, and Peter Sharkalis as my tags. All right. So, that's my old school shave. I'm just going to touch it up, finish up, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So, um, that was kind of that. Um, I just finished kind of touching up and cleaning up. Um, so, that was my old school shave. So, I used... Uh, where's the lid? Oh, Barber Pole. Synergy 2.0 from How to Grow a Mustache. That's pre-Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Barber Pole, which is, again, to me, the quintessential barbershop scent. Um, following it up with... Actually, I, I didn't finish up yet. I used um, the Gillette Tech. Date code T3. If, if somebody can let me know what that is. I used my first Restore Throwback brush, um, which was an old Everetti model restored by thomas burgess for me and finishing up with high karate so which uh douglas reed did came out as low low haiku low haiku so, so man this just, just remind you of like just old school man going back to that barber shop barber shop reminds me of my dad my dad always wore like 
I remember one year I asked him what he wanted for Christmas and he said uh, Target had this set of Stetson cologne and aftershave and that's what he wanted. So that's what he got. So there was Stetson, there was the Brutes, there was those, um, you know, the Avon aftershaves that always, that looked like cars, the bottles looked like cars. Um, you know, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Lost my dad back in 06, so it just took me back for a minute. Anyway, so thank you for watching. That's my old school shave. Again, I tagged Peter. Um, Nick shaves, even though he doesn't really know me. But uh, he was one of my first inspirations with videos and learning how to do everything from loading a blade to lathering a brush to, you know, all that good stuff. And um, so I said, and um, Peter, Nick, and... Who else did I say? Damn, I already forgot. It's in the video. I'll tag it. All right, everybody. Be well. Peace.